in a little village on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, not far from the French border where the Pyrenees crumble into the sea and the Tramontana roar and clatter the shutters, there is a story of a strange workshop and a man who came there years ago when things were different. Things were in between, between this and that, and that's where he was, so the story goes, if we can believe a word of it. The only evidence that remains collects dust and cobwebs in the deserted, unfinished wing of the old hostel near the plaza where the owner's son used to come and masturbate, where the man brought the pieces and scraps he found on the beach and the street and put them together. And like the world to him was only a projection, a movie, he called his workshop Taller Sene. Just above the preschool kindergarten. A place for a man in between to rest for a moment a moment. The owner had given him a skeleton key, a perfect name for the object to allow entrance to a place like this, if there are places like this. Places where utter loneliness and longing and some self-loathing is accepted, even preferred. Occasionally, the workshop would turn silent for a moment, then in a halting fumble come to life. And like an old alley cat, out for the night. in color and black and white. He would find himself for a moment. But always the wall and the sign Prohibido El Paso. Whispering as I was driving, quietly the car was rolling like a bullet. And up from his footsteps, the burnt shoes. But he would keep moving, always moving, some would say restless. Among his objects, his little world of objects, addicted to the rhythm. Addicted to the rhythm. Yes. Yes. And sometimes he would pray to himself his little four-word prayer. Correct me, si estoy equivocado. And he would feel better even at peace for a moment. And then the noises and the voices would begin again with their stories. Because he knew in his depth he had been wrong all along, and yes, he had become. Oh, yes. Siempre. Of this and that, and back and forth, and somewhere in between, and always in 
Siempre. Fascinated with these objects, he would control and fasten together and reassure himself that he was going to be okay. Sometimes the voice of a woman broke the interminable silence, to explain the division of his senses, disturbing the peace with the trinity of me, myself, and I. The radiance of time, the Chris, the cross, the crucified, and eeny meeny miny mo. Beginning his dream. And suddenly his favorite bricolage of bottle caps and zipper handles seemed quite pitiful. Where we're swept to encircle dawn. Strapped in a low cloud. Was he going mad? He had thought so once years ago and had lived a few years in fear, but, but no more. But was this where he would finally unravel? Oh, the question. Yes. There's more. You can kiss the when he had asked the girl how long he would stay in this little village, she said, until you die. And so far, she'd been right. A slow death, but don't laugh. A happy one. He'd never been so happy in his madness. Sometimes, the voice of a man. From the chapel of dreams. With a handful of images. And it would take him somewhere. Was it his own voice he didn't know or care? Faces. And he would think many things, and over and over the pieces in his mind make up strange stories. And he heard this and that from other places too far away. This flying crucifix crashing into that building and then another building too exploding and fire and crumbling to the ground and smoke and ashes and burnt shoes. A monument to a fabulous what? Toward open skies, fine. Why not? He even gave some blood and lit some candles. Sometimes I can't and then after he awoke from his nap, he swept the floor and made a little village from the sweepings. All the games cannot be erased. And he called it Catechist. Sights, the treasures of the eye. And a woman's voice said it was a meringue, and he might offer the people a slice. No equation to explain. Destiny's hand. Moved by love. Drawn by the whispering shadows. Into the mathematics. Then one day, it all made sense to him, which is to say it made no sense at all. And it was that quickly and that suddenly, so the story goes, that he knew at last that he was not God, but that he was beyond God because he had created God. imagination he had created everything including himself in this little workshop his little tailleur in this little village everything had become little of rubber car bumper and a broken chair leg. To 
deliver him from evil. No equation to explain the division of the And he began to empty his numbered box doors one at a time. No sound to reflect. The one with feathers, one with a mousetrap he'd invented, and where he kept the skeleton key. In the beginning is dream. And his favorite hand-painted rock. Where we're swept in circle dawn. Everything, all of it, that was the point, the totality. How far can you take it? How much of the infinite do you want? Racing through silence. He arranged a bouquet of plastic gutter, pipe, and rusty metal shards, his last sentimental gesture of farewell before setting out. Oh, and the voices tried to call him back. They tried everything. But he said, no, not this time, no more. Because now he was a warrior and he had armor and he was a warrior. Standing outside yes. the corner in the rain. Uh, the recreation the of the warrior thus made Zarathustra. And don't Check. forget the whip. With a hand. And his medals and ribbons. Jesus. He could forget all of it. perfectly erased before he left. And it was all just perfect and he realized that it always had been. And he said thanks to himself because he knew he was. Sometimes you can't tell whether you're waking up or going to sleep. Spiraling unnumbered streets. All the games cannot be yours. And that was all. All the sights, the treasures of the eye. Does the divided soul remain the same? No equation to explain. Destiny's hand. Destiny's hand. Whispering shadows into the mathematics of our desire. In two thousand twenty two. In the spring, after the strongest winter in recent memory in the so-called Great Storm, a young couple on holiday from Holland after making love on the rocks at Cap de Creus, under a full moon light, found the nearly complete skeleton of a man. With a rusty metal chain tangled around the bleached white bones of the neck, the chain, a skeleton key. To Tyre City, get a kiss. <laughs> 